2K Sports. In this game, we'll see the Los Angeles Lakers going up against the Boston Celtics here in Boston. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Mike Fratello. And we've got David Aldridge joining us from the sideline. As a coach, you've got to plan for these situations because strategy is how you win in close matchups and you don't have the obvious advantage at a position. Would you always begin, Mike, when you were putting out your game plan, let's, let's begin with what like, my guards have got to face, what they've got to do, and then work your way to the front line? How, how would you do that as a coach? You know that you have to have matchups available for your team if you're going to go through a shoot-around, if you're going to go through a team meeting before the game starts. So as you look at the positions, you... Try to decide how do we match up best with the opponent. Yeah, they may have somebody that's better than us at a certain position or even two positions. Then you must figure out do we want to take that player out of the game by perhaps double teaming. Mm -hmm. Good insight. And so Bird will bring it up for Boston. Pass to Pete. The Celtics working the ball around now. Just five to shoot. Pass to Bird. He can't get that one. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. First chance of the season for them to go up against the Celtics team. You know, we see these teams face off only twice a year. Last year, they split. It's a game I've had circled on the calendar for a while. I love it when they get together. Last year, they split the two games between them, and I'll bet their battles are just as tightly contested this season. Here's Lewis, following the bucket by the Lakers. Bird in zone, covered by Perkins. And Bird with the basket on the assist by Peyton. And you know in the painted area, Bird has a variety of moves to take you either direction and finish with either hand. He's a nightmare to defend, and believe me, I woke up in sweats many a times dealing with that guy. Yep, yeah, it counts. You know, they'll be looking for more of that. Magic Johnson. An easy layup right there. Always nice to get a few easy ones early in a game to build a rhythm. And a great job to get that angle on a tremendous drop. And I love the way he played downhill on that drive. Love the attack mentality in a close game. So it's the Celtics now. Following the bucket by the Lakers. The 17-footer. That one a tad off line to the right, but drops in for him. Bird's got his second bucket of the night. If you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Pass to Scott. Inside. Inside. Releases. And Morning sends it back. How about the reach of Morning? Very impressive and very long, too. An elite shot blocker. He does a good job timing his jump. Now here's Peyton. And then Fennett L.U. Cam. Reggie Lewis flying high. Hammering home that pass. Nice. Johnson up top. Defended by Peyton. Perkins on top. He played real well against Atlanta in that last game. Scott with a screen on Lewis. Scott kicks to Scott. Good on the three-point shot. Scott's got five now. And a nice play by Scott. Outstanding in the secondary playmaker role. Peyton passes to Bird. Now Peyton. He dishes it to Bird. That's in, coming off an assist from Peyton. Six points for him. The defense was there, but Bird doesn't get distracted easily, which is why he's able to make tough shots. Johnson, the pass to Scott. Here is Perkins. There's the pass to Scott. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. Scott, and to get open is Johnson. Scott, good. 
An unselfish play from Shaq, running to get it to his open teammates. Payton kicks to Bird. Morning a screen on Perkins. Bird dishes to Morning over O'Neal. It's blocked by Shaq. Outside, Scott driving the lane. First personal foul. First team foul. Outside, Perkins. Back to Scott. This is it to Johnson. Six on the shot clock. Scott can't get it to go. The Celtics with the lead. Eaton inside. Johnson on him. Offensive rebound. And the shot goes in. And Bird is so intelligent at reading shot trajectories, which is why he's able to grab offensive rebounds. Now Scott coming off a 12-point game his last outing. Johnson, the pass to O'Neal. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Attacking in the painted area, clearly. That was their game plan coming in. Well, it's no secret that they are off to a super difficult start. Very rough beginning, Mike. How do you turn things around if you're coaching a team like this? I think it's about trying to keep things simple. Taking it one game at a time and trying to find ways to gradually improve. And knowing it's a long marathon. I mean, there's nothing short about the season. A lot of games to play. It's time to work these things out. And sometimes the games are your learning situations rather than practices, which are hard to come by nowadays. That's a good point. And early on, this young guy Shaq has shown us how dominant he can be. A sometimes unguardable big man. Pass to Payton. Five to shoot. Here's Lewis. Played in with a nice touch on the glass. It's so difficult to slow down when he gets that fire in his eyes. And here is Scott. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Pass to Johnson. Stolen by Bird. Now the pass to Peyton. Side for Lewis. Warning a screen on Scott. Near the three-point line. It's Lewis. Rebound by Johnson. He like that one back. That's normally a shot he makes. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. So much tenacity for Scott. Absorbs the foul and still fights to get his shot through. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Green, he's checked in for Sam Perkins. For this team, Byron Scott is the glue. Great defensively, doesn't need the ball much, will do anything to win. Now, here's Lewis. We saw him with 29 points last game. This ball movement by Boston. Here's Bird. That's good. And it's Peyton with the assist. Peyton's got his fifth assist in this one. Boy, what a clean pass by Peyton that time. He sees a ready shooter and gets it to him at just the right time. Here's Scott. He kicks it to Johnson. Here's Green. And that's collected by Bird. Bird's got four rebounds now tonight. Outside, Peyton. Dishes it to Lewis. Over Shaq. Lewis misses. 
so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the Lakers. Trailing by two. They are coming off that win against Atlanta. And they were on fire from deep, and that's a big reason why they were able to win on the road. Yeah, they weren't bashful trying their luck from downtown. They just kept connecting from there. Here's Peyton following the three by the Lakers. Who is outside? Kicks to Peyton. Morning is screen on Johnson. Here's Peyton. Here's Morning. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Using the size to get defenses to foul him. The big man, Alonzo Morning, doing good work there. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Lakers. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he can't get the first one. He's a guy that has some fire to him, both on the floor and in the locker room. You know, Morning is that guy that loves to motivate himself and his teammates. Second free throw, no good. The Lakers in the lead. Kerr with it. Kerr forcing the issue and getting the call, being aggressive there. I like that. Good work. Los Angeles, they have gone one for two on the night so far from the line. Steve Kerr. Two shots. the first. Kerr is a guy you love having on your team because he's such a marksman. He's so efficient. He's intelligent as a basketball player. So he makes both from the line. Celtics trail by three. Passes it to Roy. Here's Haskins. Fires for three. Trains the three-pointer. Left him with room to launch. That's one he had to take. Kerr the pass to Scott. Green kicks to Kerr. Just five on the clock. Back from outside. Rebounded by the Celtics. They came into that game really emphasizing rebounding the ball, and they did exactly that. Just pounded away on the glass. You know, give them credit for being the more physical team in that one. Because of their effort, they came up with a number of second-chance opportunities, too. Tell you what, both teams have got it going on. I mean playing phenomenally well. Yeah, but I think it's going to be hard to keep this pace up. We'll see. Now, here's Scott. He's got 10. They kick it out to Green. Back to Scott. Kerr outside. Pass to Scott. The Lakers moving the ball around. Three-pointer, Fox. And no good that time. And the Celtics going the other way now. Here is Shaw. An 11 point game for him in the win against Washington. That one a little long. Now, the defense was far from awful. However, he still got to make these shots, in my opinion. Kerr kicks to Scott from downtown. No good there. The Celtics with the lead. Here is Shaw. 
high post McHale. Over curve. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Relentless on the board. McHale will outwork any opponent. You have to try to match his level of energy. And the Lakers call time here. A minute 40 left here in the first quarter. Kerr outside. There's the pick. They could use a bucket, and he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Yeah, that's what we call a good foul. Make them earn it at the line. She might not be pretty, but that's the right play in that situation. He saved the layup with that foul. He's good on the second. Boston leading by three. That's to Askins. McHale against Green. The pass to Askins. Here is Shaw. There's a screen by McHale. A baseline J. Shaw, no good. I wouldn't say that's exactly his spot now. I mean, and you can see why. Kerr, the pass to Green, and Green slams it in. That's a head-up play by Kerr, finding the open man and getting him the ball on time and on target. Well done. Passes it to Askins. Here is Shaw, defended by Kerr. Shaw, no good. Tell you what, that is a missed opportunity for mid-range for sure. With as little defense as was shown, should have made that one. Back to Kerr. Outside, Fox. Six to shoot. Pass to Green. Over McHale. Will not go. This is off the front eye. The Celtics shooting quite well in these early minutes, 55%. Shaw passes to Askins. Here's McHale over Green. McHale getting it done. What a move that time. McHale's got his second bucket of the game to go. And so it's Larry Bird making things happen for the Celtics. Scoring, rebounding. He was all over the place during that quarter. They are riding his performance right now. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. tuning in it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter and a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Celtics Lakers trail by three 
Now here's Johnson. He's coming off a 25-point game against Atlanta. And also, how about the passing display we saw from him? He was just outstanding at finding ways to shred the defense to pieces. Shot clock at six. Johnson is excellent at keeping defenses off balance, which is why they resort to fouling. First trip to the line for him here. Shooting for Los Angeles. Magic Johnson taking two shots. First one falls. And Magic is one of the most exciting players in the game. Because his level of creativity is simply incredible. So Johnson hits two of them. Quite simply, he's automatic at the line. Boston shooting has been beyond great up until now. How about 57% from the field overall? Pass to Morning. Bird with it. Over Perkins. And he can't bank that one in. Now Johnson. The pass to Perkins. Always oh, going up for the alley oop here. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley oop. Here's Bird. Doesn't go for him. And the Lakers will go the other way with it. And that will conclude a four game road trip. Scott kicks to Johnson. Second quarter, and we're just over a minute in. Here's O'Neal. And trying for the go ahead basket. It doesn't go in. And pushing it up. Here's Boston. the wing Peyton the dish to Bird who is outside shot clock at five over green Boston no good that time either and so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the Los Angeles Lakers they haven't allowed any points in the second quarter now here's Scott to the paint. Stolen by Lewis. And here's Bird. He kicks to Lewis. Shot from free throw range. Kept alive. The Lakers trail. Here's Johnson. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Protecting the ball well there, Johnson. Very skilled at scoring against tough defense. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Warning a screen on Perkins. They get it again. The end of the drought. And Warning throws it down. And in a hard contest like this, you expect your guys to give you everything they've got. You're right. Clark, you know, I love watching him hustle there. His teammates appreciating the effort. I'm looking at you, and you appreciate that effort. Shaking my head, yes. <laughs> Especially at this point in the game. Let's see if this serves as a jolt of energy for them moving ahead. Bird outside. Morning passes to Peyton. Passes to Bird. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. So much focus from Bird. A chance for a three-point play now. First team foul. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. What's up? A 
speaking with Bird's opponents, they'll tell you he talks trash the whole time. And of course, he backs it up with his play. So the Lakers call a timeout. They're first. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Outside, Scott. Pass to O'Neal. Lock it four. Perkins dishes to Scott. Here's O'Neal. And Warning sends it back. Kicks it to Lewis. the ball. He picked up 15 points in their last run against Washington. And it wasn't just his scoring, but his intense defense as well. He nabbed three steals. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. You know, there are occasions when contact doesn't affect the shot. That sure did. Easy call for the refs. Austin shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw good for morning. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And so it's the Lakers with it. Four-point game. Johnson the screen. On the wing, Johnson. Crystal blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Many things make magic great. Not the least of which is his sheer size and strength as a point magic. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. for Boston. The Celtics working the ball around now. Here's Morning. That's it. He's got two made now, and he's shooting two for three. Dominant play from Morning inside. Even when you come to expect it, he's tough to defend against down low. Outside, Perkin. And he's going up for the alley-oop. What a feast! Perfectly timed and placed. I can't get enough of those. Down low. O'Neal against Morning. O'Neal with the defensive effort. Lakers have gone four of six from the field here in the second. Green the pass to Johnson. Back to Green. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Don't be fooled by his slender frame. Green does not mind some physicality, and he's definitely drawing contact. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. it up and this next one could give them the lead if there's a game AC Green will be ready this guy never misses games that's why they call him Iron Man and they now 
lead as the free throw drops for him. Celtics have gone just 33% for the field in what's been a cold second quarter for them. Just three of nine. Elbow shot is on the way. Good on the shot. And the Celtics lead by one. Eight lead changes in the first half. Mark, this is unbelievable. I agree, man. Unbelievable is right. Both sides digging in for what looks like a battle of immovable forces. Now, here's Johnson. <laughs> Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So, one free throw coming up. Vision from the big man, Morty. Spotting an open guy and working the ball over to him. For Boston, they have made three of five free throw attempts. Shooting for Boston. Bias. One shot. What's up? Lakers trail by four. Here's Johnson. He has seven. Feeds to Perkins. And good coming off the assist by Magic Johnson. Johnson just got his sixth assist on the night. This team wants Magic making the decisions. Simply special with the ball in his hands. Now here's Lewis. there but he gets the call and will shoot two Second personal foul fourth team foul for Boston they have shot 67 percent from the line tonight going for six two shots take a break take a break two shots one falls for him. Shaw's checked in for Peyton and then for the Lakers Fox he's checked in for Green Scott comes in for Byron Scott and Kerr is subbed in for Sam Perkins and that's good as he hits both of his shots Lakers trail by four. Now here's Johnson. Seven points in the game. Outside, Scott. He dishes it to Fox. Unloads from nine. Count it. Good. And Fox knows how to get to the paint now. A muscular forward who's pretty effective in the post. Here is Shaw. Now morning. This is to Lewis. Yep, that one goes in there. Lewis has got the lead up to four now for the Celtics. Really like the pass from morning right there. I mean, this is what being a team player is all about. Pass to Johnson. And what? That one goes careening off the glass. The pass to morning. Over to the left wing. Five to shoot. Here's Shaw. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Johnson's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. He lobs it up and shot with the slam. Okay, now the youngster is just Magic showing Johnson. off. O'Neal finishes with the oop. The Celtics have gone six of 13 so far from the field here in the second quarter. Here is Shaw, defended by Kirk. Yes, that goes in. Lewis has got four this quarter. The basis of our game is the pass. Share it. Being a great team. Now. Johnson outside. Screen by O'Neal. 
Johnson kicks to O'Neal. And the dunk by O'Neal. This is simply magic being magic. Finding ways to break up the D and generate looks for his team. The Celtics have gone 7 of 14 in the second quarter, shooting to the tune of 50%. Ball movement by Boston. Here is Shaw, defended by Scott. The feed to Lewis. Over Kerr. And Kerr pulls it down. The Lakers have gone 8 of 11 from the field in the second quarter. Really flowing in. Here's Johnson. That's good. And so Kerr with the assist. Johnson's got it all tied up now for the Lakers. The Celtics shoot 47% in the second quarter. This is it to Lewis. Shot on the wing, and it's wide right. It's off the rim. And Coach, something you appreciate, the ball distribution has been terrific in this one. Yeah, they've showed how efficient their offense can be when they're this unselfish. Now, here's Curry. O'Neal inside. He's guarded by Morning. And there's Shaq. That's good on the assist by Kerr. Shaq is pretty much automatic whenever he gets within 10 feet of the hoop. Pass to Lewis. Here is Shaw. And that one drops. Shaw has got his second bucket of the night. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Pass to Johnson. Now Fox. 125 left to play here in the half. Scott against Lewis. Scott can't get it to go. The Celtics shooting 53% from the floor. They're locked in. Morning is screen on Kirk. Shaw passes to Morning. And the pass to Shaw. Driving inside. That one off the back iron and out. And for the Lakers, they're shooting 56% in this game, really stringing quality possessions together offensively. Pass to O'Neal. A jump hook. Six for ten with that shot going in. That's a good game for a lot of guys. We know he's a scoring machine. It'll be exciting to see how prolific a score O'Neal can become. We've got 33 seconds left now here in the second. Here's Shaw. And it's sent back by O'Neal. And here is Johnson. He's got nine. Out left of the wing. Fox kicks to Scott. Back to Fox. Rebounded by the Celtics. Morning's got six rebounds now in the game. From deep three-point range, and he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Los Angeles on top, up by two. Time now for the halftime break, with the third quarter soon to follow, right here on 2K Sports. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. It's been one outstanding game from Larry Bird. Looking to keep that rhythm he found in the first half going right now. He's more than capable, and best believe they're going to keep the ball in his hands. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the Los Angeles Lakers. The lead is two. Shaq in the high post from 18 feet away. That's good, and it's Johnson with the assist. Shaq's got the opening bucket to start the second half for the Lakers. Who is outside? Defended by Scott. Warning a screen on Scott. Kept alive by Boston. 
Another shot. Goes up again. It counts. And the foul. It's on Shaq. Morning he eats glass, folks. Outstanding at doing his work early so he gets good position to gobble up those boards. So far in the game, he's gone two for four from the free throw line. Morning. At the line for one. Free throw good for Morning. The Lakers in the lead. Outside, Scott. Outside, Perkins. The Lakers moving the ball around. Here's Shaq. And that one drops for him. Shaq's got 16. Boy, they keep feeding Shaq, and he keeps scoring. The big guy giving his team exactly what they want. Outside, Peyton. Who is outside? To the inside. The shot by Peyton, no good. Lakers lead by three. Here's Scott. Nailed from three-point land. He's got 13. Fantastic pass from Scott. Looking to feed his guys whenever he can. Over a minute and a half into the third quarter of action. Pass to Morning. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Terrific balance. Gets knocked around and hits it anyway. We knew we had the foul. Figured out a way to get the shot off, and it went in. The Celtics have gone 7 of 9 from the free throw line tonight. One shot. have gone three of three from the field since halftime. Outside, Scott. Johnson, the pass to O'Neal. And stolen by Morning. Johnson against Pete to the middle. That one's good. The Laker lead is cut to just one in the basket from Bird. We see this often from Bird. He makes scoring look effortless. And another great look at the 2K drive. Taking the onus on himself to make something happen. Got it into the teeth of the D and made them pay. Pass to O'Neal. Outside, Perkins. Johnson outside. The pass to O'Neal. Rocket six. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shame foul. It's on Alonzo Morning. It doesn't matter if it's college or the NBA. The defense is always on the heels when Shaq gets it inside. He's 0-1 from the line, missing on his first trip. Really hard to forget how much he struggled from the line during their last matchup. To say the least, whenever he got to the line, he just couldn't find the target. But nights like that are going to happen even to the best of them. free throw no good hey because he's such a commanding force sometimes sending Shaq to the line is your best option and the Celtics making a change here McHale's checked in no luck that time either Boston trail Peyton passes to McHale that one, no good. And Los Angeles guys uh, shooting 59% up to this point. They're working for great shots, and they're hitting it. Johnson kicks to Scott. Back to Johnson. Shaq with a screen on Pete. Johnson goes in, and the dunk by O'Neal. 
superb work from Shaq. Rolling with confidence after setting the screen. Hayden with the ball. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Passes it to Lewis. McHale against O'Neal. McHale setting the pick for Peyton. Over Shaq, and it's sent back by O'Neal. Nice defense by O'Neal. You see the length and quickness of the ball. Takes the alley -oop pass and dunks it down. Look at the big man get up. Great athleticism from Shaq Diesel. Would be denied. Back to Lewis. Pass to Peyton. He kicks it to Lewis. Bird is screen on Scott. Lewis. Nice form on the 20 foot. Lewis has got 10 points. You know, I think they've got. Anticipation dealing with these screens because right now they're just laying on them and getting stuck. Look, you have to go over the top or duck under. Right now they're seemingly trying to go through the screen. Now here's Scott. He's got 13, doubled by McHale. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have to jump ball. Perkins, the pass to Johnson. They on the clock. Fires the three. They get it back. And it's blocked. The Celtics working the ball around now. Peyton passes to Lewis. Really good pass from Lewis that time, demonstrating once again that he's a total team player. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the Los Angeles Lakers. It's a one-point game. Shaq with the screen. Johnson outside. Shot clock at six. To the paint. Here's Shaq. And Shaq with the slam. The young guy, O'Neal, introducing himself to the rim. For Boston, they've gone even five of ten on shot attempts in the third. Lewis outside. Defended by Scott. How the dish to Peyton. Shoots over Johnson. And is good in the Los Angeles leads. Cut to just one in the basket from Gary Payton. Good tight handles for Gary Payton. And he knows how to use them effectively. Los Angeles calls timeout. Lakers have gone six of eight on field goal attempts in the third. A 75% clip. And the foul called on Larry Bird. That'll be his second foul of the game. And we have to take another glance at that powerful rejection. Reads the play well there and gets himself in the air at just the right time. Terrific denial. Inside. Green dishes to Perkins. Rebound Boston. Aggressive move. That's an easy two points most of the time. For the lead, Peyton's shot is off. LA has gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Kerr against Peyton. Here's the teardrop. Green, the pass to Scott. Down to five on the shot clock. Los Angeles with another miss. It's a close game here in Boston. Atlanta will be traveling to face them after this game. That'll be the last of three straight at home for the team. Here's Royal. Lays it up and banks it in. These teams just...
just keep trading the lead. Yeah, you know, you wonder what it's going to take for somebody to pull away and take control of this thing. Now, here's Green. Kerr outside. Pass to Grandison. Over McKinney. Los Angeles with another miss. He tried to use a fadeaway. Get a little space. Not an easy shot to drain. They set the pick. Shot from the top of the key. That shot missing. That's normally one of his spots. It was a quality look. Shame to see it go to waste. Knocked away. It's taken away by Pete. Sinks that one from the post. Peyton's got his second bucket tonight. And taking a quick look here, guys, at the hustle spots for Boston. Outside, Green. Kicks it to Scott. Now the pass to Kerr. Outside, Green. Six to shoot. Trying to get something going. Rejected by McHale. Using that impressive wingspan, McHale reaches out and knocks away the shot. They set the pick. Here's Bird. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. Peyton against Kerr. He dishes it to Green. Outside, Scott. And there it is for him. Scott. Scott's got five. Scott really attacking inside, relying on his agility to get that shot up and down. Bird outside. Back to Peyton. McHale, right side. Passes it to Bird. Green with the rebound. And that's a strong defensive effort to force the miss, especially against someone of his caliber. And there's the try. Perkins trying to break loose. And Green gets it to go. Nice cut by Green, noticing a lane and slashing his way to the rim. Peyton passes to Roy. Peyton looking around. Pass to Royal. Now, here is Bird. He's got 15. The Celtics need to get a shot off. But Green. Green with the rebound. Green's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. The Lakers making a switch here. Fox is checked in. Just two to shoot. 18 feet out. Rejected by McKeon. And the shot clock expires. 24 second violation. Boy, oh, in a game this snug, you can ill afford to commit those kinds of turnovers. And hit me. Here is Shaw. Pinkney, headed by Green. Here's Royal. Off the mark there with a three point shot. Not what we expected at all. He normally has that shot down cold. Especially when he's got space like that. Very surprising. Scott, that's good. And so Kerr with the assist. Kerr's got four assists in the game. Pass to Askins. Now here's for Keith. Guarded close. Their offense, Stone Cold. Another miss there. I see him, I see him. Side, Scott. Over Shaw. Scott can't get it to go. Celtics trail by four. 
Here's Royal. The pass to Askins. And here is McHale. And out of bounds is Los Angeles Kings position. Los Angeles. Los Angeles leading by four. Outside, Fox. Scott up top. Eight points for him. The shot's good. Scott's got ten points. Yeah, against a much taller player, you've got to be slick and wily. Figure out a way to get your shot off against the bigger guy. I think it helps if you have a quick release, change of direction. Just don't be deliberate. Here's Askins. Here's McHale. Yep, that one goes. He's got six. Down low, McHale has a myriad of moves. Just so tough to stop. Kerr kicks to Scott. There's 25 seconds left in the third. Count that one. Scott's got the lead up to six now for Los Angeles. No idea what they were thinking there defensively. I mean, that's a shot he makes often. Here is Shaw. Passes it to Askins. McHale with it. With one on the clock. And the last shot of the buzzer doesn't go in for it. And so it's Los Angeles with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. Their lead is where it is because they've gotten good shots. A lot of good shots. We've got more in store for you right after this. His hot streak continues night after night, making his presence felt offensively. Now, here's Kerr. Here's Johnson in the corner. O'Neal with it. And that's out of bounds. The Lakers will retain possession. You know, deflections are key. They're big in this league. You want to be disruptive to the other team's offense. Yeah, little tips like that, they can frustrate opponents. it up off the inbound. Oh, I love how hard morning goes. I mean, this guy is coming at you. A defensive anchor. He holds it down for his guys. Well done. As they keep expanding this lead, keep feeding him the ball. He's having a great shooting night, so yeah, I'd say getting him the rock is a great game plan. So it's the Celtics now. Following the basket by Shaquille O'Neal. To the inside. It's stolen by Green. against Lewis. Here's Green. That shot, no good. And it's Boston the other way. Lewis with it. Now Green defending. Back to Lewis. Pass to Shaw. Hits the jumper in space. With him, the scouting report says you've got to go over the screen. Absolutely. He'll hurt you from deep. So you have to fight through those picks. Now here's Johnson. Down low. Here's O'Neal. And the dunk by O'Neal. Bottom line, that's an unstoppable move. Shaq can do this anytime he wants. Who is outside? This is Des Morning. Back to Lewis. Feeds it to Morning. Over O'Neal. That one's good. The Laker lead is cut down to just four points with a bucket from Alonzo Morning. Boy, gets some space and hits the big time shot. Exactly what the doctor ordered. He yeah, found room for mid-range. You'd think the defense would be keying on him. 
Now, here's Johnson. Shaq with the screen. Johnson. Again, Los Angeles. Johnson. This is where Magic thrives. A master at toying with defenders and screen and rolls. Shaw passes to Lewis. And he lobs it up with the rim. Up high to stop the alley -oop. The chemistry is so obvious on these alley -oop. Fantastic sequence there. Plays like that, but bring a team closer together. For sure. Yeah, I like when guys take initiative and go after chances like this. Now, here's Johnson. Score the bucket. He's made five so far, shooting a very clean five of seven. Well, I like Magic doing his work inside. The close range look. Smart play that time by the Magic. Pass to Lewis. Here is Shaw. He's guarded by Johnson. Shaw, no good. Lakers lead by six. Kerr outside. Green left side. That's good. And so Kerr with the assist. And Green focuses on taking quality shots inside, which is why he shoots a solid percentage. To the paint. Celtics passing it around. And there's the whistle. Three second violation. That was just a force right there. And it's going to cost him. Tough spot in the game was such a miscue. Bird, he's checked in for Boston. Peyton comes in for Shaw. Perkins, he's checked in for the Lakers. Scott comes in for Fox. Lakers have gone five of eight shooting as we've come down the home stretch in this final quarter. Johnson, the pass to Perkins. He kicks it to Kirk. Looks for O'Neal, gets it to him. Over morning, and there's Shaq. That's good on the assist by Kerr. Kerr's got six assists now in the game. And so Peyton will bring it up for the Celtics, trailing by 10. There's the pass to Lewis. It's stolen by Kerr. The 19-foot shot again, Los Angeles. Now Payton, who is outside. Defended by Scott. They need this. Score that one for him, his eighth field goal. Eight for 11 on a very accurate night. More than pulling his weight offensively. I mean, he's ready and willing to step up when called upon. And they'll need him to continue filling it up if they want to take control. Now, here's Johnson. Passes to O'Neal. Just five to shoot. From down in the low post, it goes. Shaq's got the lead up to 12 now for Los Angeles. Rosella shooting it pretty well, close to 50%. Lewis outside. Morning, a screen on crew. Lewis dishes to Burke. Lewis outside. Kicks it to Morning. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. First personal foul. First team foul. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Lakers. Two shots. First free throw is good. And both free throws good for morning. Los Angeles leading by 10. Johnson, the pass to Kerr. 
Bird against Perkins. Johnson surveying the floor. Shoots. Tries again. He takes it up and lays it in. And the Lakers lead by 12. Nice play by Perkins. His instincts and length really show on the offensive glass. Peyton dishes to Bird. Pass to Lewis. the bucket now he's got five field goals five for eight in the game ferocious move from the big man morning puts it right back after the board timeout called the lakers byron scott is checked in for the lakers right now i'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from david aldridge well, I had a chance to find out what Los Angeles' coach was going over with his guys. He's obviously pretty happy. He said, I know they're not going to take us lightly next time. He knew what the deal was with that underdog role coming into the game. Thanks so much, David. Lakers leading by 10. On the wing, Johnson. Defended by Peyton. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop against Lutz. On the wing, Peyton. Morning passes to Bird. Over Perkins. Off the mark, had a chance to trim it to single digits. And here is Scott. The dish to Johnson. To the inside. And another assist for him. Shaq is too strong inside. Good luck with that assignment. Pass to Lewis. That's good from 17 feet away. He's got 22. And he has been dialed in since the tip with his shot. Great outlet from him so far. Johnson outside. Check his screen on Peyton. It's Scott on the way. And another assist. Well, they have been raining threes here in the second half. And when a team is locked in like this from outside, they become hard to beat. This ball movement by Boston. Back to Peyton. Morning inside. Scott's there. Good on that shot. And with that, the Los Angeles Leafs cut down to 11 on the bucket from Alonzo Morning. Scott with the ball. And there's the pass to Perkins. Here's Johnson. And Gary Payton is going to pick up the foul. That's foul number two for him. McHale's checked in for Boston. Substitution for your Celtics. Johnson outside. Back to O'Neal. Five on the clock. Cross contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Personal foul. The defense tries to trip O'Neal up with the foul, but he stays strong and gets it to fall. Shooting for Los Angeles. Shaquille O'Neal. One shot. One shot. Celtics trail by 14. Outside, Peyton looks for Morning, gets it to him. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. 
Byron Scott picks one up. First personal foul, second team foul. Shooting for Boston, Alonzo Mourning at the line for two. And the first one at the line is good. And that one goes in, two from the line that time. Lakers leading by 12. Outside, Scott. He kicks to Scott. He feeds it to Johnson. That one is good again. He sits right from the floor with the basket. And when Magic finds his rhythm, he's a wrecking ball in offense, capable of scoring in so many ways. Making the bounce pass. Morning. It's blocked by Shannon. Here's McHale. The reach of Perkins could be a big defensive tool, helping him to get there and deny the shot. Here's the lob to the hoop and the dunk by O'Neal. And the fans in this building have been muted, getting run over. They can feel their team getting run off the court. It's been all one side so far. Now here is Morning. Sent back by O'Neal. Great on both ends of the floor. Shaq making his presence felt defensively there. Sending one back. This one is all but over. I mean, what a ferocious and commanding performance for the Lakers. Now just racking up the assist card. Really moving the ball and looking to set each other up. Love the way they went out and executed their game plan, which included moving the ball and then hitting each other in their spots and knocking down the shots. And so with this, they'll end up with their second win on the year. Now, here's Johnson. The alley of Liam. Very well done. Even in enemy territory, they put together quite an impressive performance here. I think being out on the road helped them in this one. They were eager to silence these fans. Johnson against Peyton. Outside for Lewis. Six to shoot. There's a screen by McHale. Fires from 18. Lewis misses. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Johnson. We've got 28 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Askins passes to Shaw. Here's Askins, defended by Kerr. McHale with a screen on Johnson. The feed to McHale, and it's Kevin McHale with the finish. Showing off his intelligence there. McHale knowing exactly how to run the pick and roll. Kerr outside. So it's the Lakers taking care of business here. That's the it takes game. physical and mental toughness, Clark, to win on the road. It's a man they They sure did. And, you know, in terms of talent, there's just no comparison between these teams. And that'll do it, folks. For our terrific reporter, David Aldridge, along with Clark Kellogg and Mike Fratello, I'm Kevin Harmon saying thank you for tuning in tonight. So long and good night, everyone.